Good morning, Marietta. I'm Jack. And I'm Red. Hey, do you have any idea where Mr. Dempsey went? Yeah, he said that he was going to the rainforest to the Amazon for hidden treasure. He didn't say he didn't he say he was going to do a live look in? Do you even have service there? Nope. Last I saw of him, he was in his car screaming and hitting his steering wheel. Probably for me mispronouncing Melanie. That checks out. Well, I hope he has fun in the rainforest, or wherever he is right now, and that you stop mispronouncing basic names. Me too, Rod. Me too. Anyways, on to the rest of today's show. It's time to dress up and show out because it is prom season. Unfortunately, the flash sale for tickets has already passed, but they are still available for purchase at $100. Remember, you have to meet certain criteria to attend. For example, you can't have too many tardies or absences, and no ISS or OSS. This month's profile of the month is knowledgeable. We are all knowledgeable to do something we put our mind and dedicate our time to. 
Comment on someone you know who is knowledgeable or comment on the most knowledgeable moment you have been. And each day this week we will be celebrating Exceptional Children's Week. We would love to take this opportunity to shine the spotlight on some remarkable individuals who have triumphed over challenges and achieved remarkable success. Despite facing daunting obstacles, these individuals have persevered and thrived. Today we are taking a closer look at... Salma Hayek Jimenez. Salma was born in 1966 to an opera singer and businessman in Mexico. She grew up in a wealthy Catholic family, but was shipped off to private school in New Orleans at age 12, where she always managed to get in trouble. But she managed to succeed despite her dyslexia. Her fast learning made it easy to become bilingual and to memorize scripts. Salma is an accomplished model and actress. Thank you, Salma, for showing us that disability is not an inability. Do you want to know more about our art club here at Marietta? Well, we have news for you, because here's Zoe with more information. Hi, my name is Zoe Armstrong. I'm a student at Marietta High School. I'm in 12th grade, and I'm going to go to SCAD in Savannah. I love art because it is a great way of self-expression. It is what I'm most passionate about, so it's what I want to do when I'm older. So I am a part of art club because it's where I get to do art with other people. I think it's given me opportunities to try art in lots of different forms. Uh, we do Chalktoberfest every year, which is like the local uh, art competition for like chalk drawing. And I've never done that before, but the past two years I've gotten to participate and try a whole new like medium, which has been fun. We usually try to have um, like different activities for all of us to do. I think today we're making like flowers out of like uh, paper, so like something like that. We've also done like, we've like painted on pumpkins and we've like knitted like tree sweaters. But yeah, we usually try to do different activities and just hang out and have fun. I think I've always wanted to go to art school, but art club has just like, it's given me a place to be with other artists, which is what art school is gonna be in the future. So it's kind of like a small taste of art school. My favorite thing about art club is that it's, uh, it's a break from school, like while you're in school. School, obviously there's a lot of academics, but when you're in art club, you get to have like a small amount of time to hang out with people um, and not have to worry about all the things that stress you out. Thank you, Zoe. We have a lot of clubs happening at the school, and one of the biggest and baddest is the Improv Club. If you'd like to hone in on your acting skills, stop by the Black Box Theater from 2.45 to 4 o'clock p.m. today. We'll be playing games, acting, and probably slipping out some pretty hilarious lines. The Advanced Drama Class is hosting their student-directed shows. There will be three short plays directed by Tia Carthers, Demaria Elston-Taylor, and Camille Rajan. The shows will be happening this Thursday, April 18th in the Black Box at 6.30 p.m. Keep in mind that admission is by donation only. Hey students, are you looking out for the upcoming events? Probably not, but that's why we're here. Dance, chorus, and orchestra, and band will all be performing very soon. The day's concert is on April 24th and the 25th. The chorus concert is on April 30th, and the orchestra concert is on May 1st, and the band performs on May 2nd. And attention all MHS students. The Groove Club meeting is tomorrow. They are going to talk about music and play some music. And last time there was free Chick-fil-A, so maybe there will be more free food. Groove Club is all about music. You should totally check it out. If you don't come, you are missing out on free food and a good time. Don't be lame. Ever been intrigued or just interested in cosplay? Well, here, well here's Hale talking about his time and experience doing it. So basically, um, I, in seventh grade, I was going through a rough time and my mm -hmm. therapist was like, you should try finding a healthy coping habit. And cosplay was on the list of healthy things to do to cope with things. And I picked it up then. Yeah. So my therapist was my inspiration for cosplay. Right now, um, I'm really big into the creepypasta scene. So that's all the stuff like. Jeff the Killer, Momo the Slenderman, um, stuff like that. And so I do a lot of those characters, including Tiki Toby, um, Ben Drowned, Laughing Jack, Laughing Jill, Jeff the Killer, um, that. And then I do other horror cosplays from like The Walking Dead. I've done a bunch of anime cosplays, and like Zack from Angels of Death and Mia from Skate the Infinity. And then I also did uh, Okichi from Danganronpa. I mean, yeah, it's really fun. I mean, it's, it's a whole process too. Like doing the makeup's just really relaxing. And then it's always because a lot of people will be like oh my god that's so cool and i actually just this year made friends who also liked cosplay so 
sometimes we'll all play together and that's always really enjoyable. So basically, um, Cosplay, huh? That's really interesting. You know what I should cosplay as? <laughs> what? Oh, they took it out. Oh. Hey, Red, you know? I'm not sure. You're gonna have to refresh my memory, Jack. Sports, obviously. Oh, obviously I knew that. Anyways. Or what the Sigma? Let's head over to Maddie for a sports broadcast. <laughs> Good morning, Marietta. It's your favorite, Maddie McKinley, obviously. And today I'm gonna do my own version of Two Minute Drill because, because, okay? To start off, we know my favorite sport here at Marietta, the girls lacrosse team, has a game today away at Pace Academy at six o'clock. It's gonna be a good one. But speaking of lacrosse, the boys also do have a game today at 6.30 and they're playing North Paulding. It's gonna be awesome. But the other night, last Friday, was senior night for the lacrosse teams. It was amazing. It was a great celebration and both teams absolutely crushed the competition. But something cool that happened is Sean McPherson and Ryan Dater played the national anthem for everyone. Let's Check that out. talented people that was so good congrats ryan and, and sean but in other sports news the baseball team actually plays north paulding as well today at 5 55 it's going to be an awesome game and then tennis has first round of playoffs at carrollton at four o'clock so it's a very busy day for sports let's cheer on our blue devils and see you later thank you maddie for the sports update as always don't forget to follow us on our instagram at bdn underscore marietta if not, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to do either of those things, then we might just have to mispronounce your name too. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. People have been writing the words erm what the sigma in the script, and I've been having to avoid saying it for this entire show. It's so stupid, I'm never going to say it out loud ever. I'm Jack, not. you just did. When? You just said it when you said people were trying to get you to say it the entire show. <laughs> Listen, Jack, I'm scared of a lot of things. Heights, commitment, jeans. Where's this going? The point is, if I can say it, if I had to embarrass myself, you do too. No, I don't. No, I don't. Whatever, baby. I'm Red. And I'm Jack. And, and we, we hope, hope that you, you have, have a good morning, morning Marietta. Marietta.